And then she's an award-winning singer, songwriter, and is about to kick off her biggest ever UK tour. Beverly Knight has found time to pop in and have a chat and perform for us this morning. It's lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. It's always great when you come in, Beverly, because you come in and, and what, what guys at home don't realise is you have to do a few sound checks beforehand. Yes. And one thing Beverly always does is sing live. Yes. At the most ridiculous time in the morning. <laughs> Are you always singing? I'm always singing from pretty much from the minute I get up. Um, to the minute I go to bed, and it's an unconscious thing. I'll just be singing along, and, and, and I don't even think about it. And uh, people say, you know, in the shops, oh, I can hear, oh, nice voice, oh, Beverly Knight. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, was I singing? I oh, right. Like frozen peas. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> in the green grocery. So you get a treat. So you go down to your local supermarket, you get a pr private gig in the frozen <laughs> food section by Beverly. Um, so talk about the, the tour then. It starts on the 22nd of October. That's right. 22nd of October, start up in Rule in North Wales goes right round the country. We um, arrive in London on the 17th of November, Royal Albert Hall, which Big I'm excited gig. about. Big gig. Finish up in Belfast on December the 1st. So um, I'll be popping home, of course, That's Wolverhampton. That's a fair few dates, isn't it? It's a fair few, fair few. It's my biggest um, tour to date, so I'm really excited. And I love you, have, it. you have to get yourself into shape for that. I mean, I know you keep yourself mm. in good, good nick anyway, but sort of in, in terms of getting ready to go on the road, and, and that's, that's quite demanding, isn't it? It is, and um, being a solo artist, it means that there's a lot resting you know, literally on me, so my health and um, just keeping my voice in shape is crucial, so I really have to think about what I eat, what time I go to bed, what I'm drinking and, and everything, so it's an all-encompassing thing. Now, look, it's been a great year for you because because um, you got to meet the Queen earlier on in the year. I did. Picked I up an did, MBE, yeah. which must have been fabulous. It was extraordinary, it really was. It was surreal, you know, going through the gates of the palace and, and the Queen gives me my MBE and Mum and Dad are there. It was quite a, 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 an amazing thing. But I have to say, um, this week I was at the, uh, the Pride of Britain mm. Awards and I thought, no, these people are really extraordinary. They're doing things which, you know, ordinary people doing absolutely extraordinary things and and that moved me and i thought every last one of them deserves a knighthood and yeah, a damehood whatever it's called yeah. so no they're quite incredible blown people. away but you you did get to meet the queen yes uh, i did and then you yeah. got to meet the prince because you performed with the man I did. your hero <laughs> my hero at the o2 and i got to see i didn't say unfortunately i didn't see you there but i got to see him there yes and i was absolutely blown away he's something else i have studied that man <laughs> and my mom will be laughing now watching um since i was really young and just his performance his stagecraft his writing and of course he's his voice he's such a little fella he's How little could he big he's actually about pocket arena. size isn't he's he sort of he's so much than claire is here yeah. <laughs> he's just got in your pocket he so how could he fill a big stadium like that with yeah, he he really has such presence, such oh. stage presence, such charisma. He really knows how to get an audience, whether they know the material or not, there. He had a uh, brilliant <laughs> story. Apparently he had 130 songs that he could choose from. Yep. And, the, and the production would get the set list like a couple of hours beforehand so they yep. knew what was going on. Each night Amazing. it would be different. Every um, night. And he had those amazing twins with him as well. Yeah, which the dancers. Captivated me. Who quite, were, quite yes, I can well imagine. But for two, out, two and a half hours, the music didn't stop. He was on that stage the whole time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's quite an extraordinary thing. So when, when I um, hit the stage, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, that's the benchmark, Beverly, that you have to <laughs> try and hit. Reach. But I think, you know what, if I'm reaching really high, then I, I've got to at least, you know, uh, uh, have a chance of yeah, achieving of some, of, some of the heights. But that what was he, he like? Have. I mean, you must have finally really got to... Did you get to talk I to him? I did get to speak to him did quite to a lot. With him as yeah, well? yeah, we did. We did a lot of chatting off stage. Um, all, me and all the band. And he was a, just a lovely and remarkable man. Did you call him Prince? What do you call him? I called him, him Pete. Pete. <laughs> just Pete. <laughs> yeah. Ah, right. Very simple. <laughs> Just call me Kay. Yeah, OK. You'll be. Call you what you, call you, what you want. <laughs> um, so, so that's the, the tour starts in October. Yeah. You've got an album out as well. You're performing a single for us this morning. That's right. I've, um, the album Music City Soul is out, but um, I have an a EP um, that's coming out on Monday, and the song that I'm going to be singing a bit later, The Queen is Starting Over, is from the album and the EP. And uh, hopefully it'll just make people feel good before they have to get to work in it the morning. It will, because it's, it's a cracking sound. We, we will you. absolutely love it, and that's a promise. Um, Beverly, it's lovely to see you this morning. Lovely to see you. Congratulations on your MBE, and good luck with the tour. Thank you. Uh, and all of that sort of stuff, and it's really, really great. Um,